Good morning, everybody. It's your favorite YouTuber, Austin Holloman, back in my favorite city in Africa, Nairobi, Kenya. And today, Kavat and I will be showing you guys the animal rescue park where they have some animals roaming around that need rescue as a name hints. But they have things like horses, donkeys, and pretty much anything. It's, it's a shelter, but it's not like a shelter that you would see most places where it's cats and dogs. It's actual wild animals and stuff like that that you not everybody has access to i guess so we're gonna go check that out it's in karen which is like in the sub southwestern part of nairobi and guys i got really lit yesterday and i don't think there's a reason why alcohol is considered poisonous this is not that good for you but yeah we're gonna go check it out let's keep watching so if you guys are members only you guys know or if you could just be anybody you guys know that i post vlogs every single day and it gets very very uh, stressful sometimes trying to always figure out something interesting to do every single day and a lot of times I don't get to enjoy my regular life uh, because I'm always trying to record then edit and even if I had an editor it's still just stressful trying to always figure out something to do so the new schedule now will be three vlogs per week four live streams per week because I see you guys like the live streams you guys like to interact so I'm gonna do more of those and stay engaged with the audience but I also need to keep my sanity because my mom and a few of my close female friends because y'all know women are calling me saying oh you look tired and you seem stressed out and you're losing weight which i lost weight by option but uh yeah it is a lot trying to do what i'm doing right now so i'm gonna slow down a little bit on the vlogs but the live streams are a lot more effortless and they're a lot more interactive so stay tuned for that guys do not think you can take any of my advice about coming overseas and dating without taking care of your face since day one i've told you guys you need to do self-improvement before you try to date anywhere in the world and Tej hanley is going to be your number one supporter when it comes to your first impression and that's what people see when they see your face how do you take care of your skin do you have white heads all in your nose that looks looks like a, a snowball that's what the scrub is for that gets that out your nose you need to wash your face twice a day use the am and pm moisturizer if you have dark circles that's what the eye cream is for you need to take your skincare very seriously i 100 percent recommend Tej hanley they ship worldwide free shipping in the united states but you don't just have to take my word for it Tej hanley has over 7,000 five star reviews from around the globe meaning that yes even my subscribers here in kenya can enjoy this same skincare routine that i'm recommending now in addition to amazing skin Tej hanley gets tons of benefits including at least 20 percent off retail price access to exclusive monthly deals and you can pause or cancel at any time it is free shipping anywhere in the united states of america and because Tej hanley is sponsoring today's video they're giving you, my viewers, a 30% off the first box plus a free gift. So don't miss out on this amazing deal. Click the link below in the description and the first pinned comment and start taking care of your skin today. Thank you, Tej Hanley, for sponsoring today's video. Now, you guys know, since I'm not going to the gym today, I don't mind smoking a very, very small cigar first thing in the morning. But look at that beautiful sunlight that we got out here in Nairobi. I just love this city so much. Uh, but we're about to go to Karen right now, get something to eat, and then continue on. All right, so we're going into the main office right here. Uh, it says the Donkey Sanctuary of Kenya. Uh, so this is, from what I'm seeing, is like basically like dogs that are hurt or have some sort of disadvantage. Because immediately when I came in, I seen a dog with three legs. So that's what I kind of understood what this place is about. Oh, I guess I could have came here to get a cat, but I, I can't get a cat anymore because I'm allergic. They know they want to be adopted. Alright, so I can see this is an adoption center as well. Alright, so now we're walking into the cat. The cat's lair, I guess. <laughs> now we're going into a... It's about... looks it's overloaded with cats and we're going in. Let's see. So this is a place you come to if you want to adopt cats. Especially if you want to take care of one like this. Y'all see this one likes me. This is a beautiful cat. This one is nice too. It has one eye, but it has a beautiful color to it.
Now they have donkeys here up for adoption as well. Ethiopian restaurant now, and uh, this is a table. It's a bowl for a table, looks like. I've come to the conclusion that uh, I do not just like. I'm, I'm never gonna be with a Western woman ever again. Why is that so? It's just every single one that I meet outside of the United States, mm -hmm. in any country in the world, it's the same. Like I'm not even like I look at them as like homeboys. Mm -hmm. That's what they act like. Um, and they're masculine, so but when I'm talking to them, I just like just no interest, no erection, just looking at them. You know, I don't give a damn how pretty they are. Um, I just look at them. Is it like they have to pretend or something? I don't know. I think it's I've been exposed to so many other cultures mm -hmm. around the world, uh -huh. and I've seen the authenticity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when I when I when I I can see the bullshit before it even happens. Like mm -hmm. when I'm just looking at it, like I don't know. normally. That doesn't happen with the ladies here. No. Yes, if they are, if they are fake here, mm -hmm. I can't notice because I've been around such fakeness. Mm -hmm. It is. This seems watered down. If it is. Yeah, I guess the Kenyan lady is so like chilled, you know. Like if yeah. she wants you, she really wants you. you know? Yeah. Every every chick from the states I've tried to date while I was in Africa or Asia or somewhere. Just a no go. It's just, uh, my patience went, has went to zero. Like completely. Do you think because it's so important in the U.S. or do you think about it like? I don't know. It's just the longer I'm gone, mm -hmm. the less I miss it. Well, I never missed it to begin with. Mm -hmm. The longer I'm gone, it's just like man. There's not even much we could talk about. Like when I get around them, uh -huh. mm -hmm. there's not much we could talk about. Cause I don't want to talk. Then be in Africa more. Oh, you better believe I'm not going home no time soon. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I go back to Texas, I'm taking somebody with me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someone more traditional? It's not even about traditional, just uh -huh. somebody I could vibe with. Mm -hmm. I do not vibe with the women mm -hmm. from the West at all. How do you like your lady? Do you want her like, um, to admit that she likes you rather than even stuff? Because I, I definitely don't want her to be a mannequin, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of dudes are fans of women that they say, oh, well, you know, she doesn't need to say much, not me. Mm -hmm. You know, I like I I value the the um, what is what is the word for that companionship? Uh, I value mm -hmm. the companionship mm -hmm. out of that. Oh. So, women are more than just sex to me. Okay. You know, you want like closure with someone? Yeah, yeah I, I like people yeah. I can sit there and talk to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. that's really that's really amazing. So, uh, guys, we are from the Donkey Case. SPCA and yeah we're coming now to an Ethiopian restaurant right now and yeah we want to experience some amazing we had fun at the animal orphanage and I hope you guys will like the video and even share it and yeah if you can you can adopt an animal because it's good to adapt rather than you know buy animals and all that stuff so you're going to eat and yeah I'm covered once again and I'm with Austin and yeah I'm the best tour guide in Nairobi and Karibu sana Caribou. No, no, actually, I like this as a person. This is usually yeah. nice for me as a person. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you're just on the chill out and all that stuff. If you want, you can join us on the table here as well. Okay. So you want to Yeah, we You want to join us? Since it's just a random, we're not talking about anything. Which part? <laughs> So you guys, I bought this passport cover earlier from this nice, nice leather store. Man, they got top of the line leather. 
excellent quality. Like it, it would, you could just feel the the damn cow that they got it from. But this one, it has a nice little line on the inside and a nice spot for your vaccine and your um, yellow fever shot card that you'll need if you want to travel to Africa. So yeah. I reached out to them to see if they could sponsor. If they do sponsor, I will show you guys. But for now, the store will be a mystery. So somebody told me that the women in Africa uh, would sleep with me, but they wouldn't want to be with me long term. This is a man. Uh, he told me that because they said that I'm too much of a pretty boy and they don't see me as masculine. And uh, they they would need me to dress a little more rough. And honestly, that shit sounds like the United States a little bit, where you got to be basically a thug. Well, uh, here's my thing. Uh, first of all, I, I, I have no shortage of sex. Let's say that. Uh, second, if you feel like I'm too pretty, you know, uh, get you a lesser man and get the fuck out of my face. Uh, so, I don't know who... I've heard that, and that actually cringed my heart when they were describing that to me. This person that told me that didn't say that, they were saying somebody else told them that. And when they told me that, it literally brought my chest down. Because I'm like, oh, anything that reminds me of the United States will bring my chest. I, 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 I could fucking have a heart attack. Oh. Uh, stress. I'm like, oh, God, that sounded so much like the United States. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Devalue yourself. I also to get more money. But no, fuck you. I'm not doing that. So uh, I thought I should just share that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know, a lot, a lot of my critics say that I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> they said I'm a bad bitch they, I, And they said that the women think that I'm prettier than them Which I mean that's your own issue If you feel like a male is more attractive than a female Then I mean It's not my problem What I'm not going to do is change anything about myself I'm not going to go back to walk around in tank tops Looking like a damn beach bum like I was a few months ago So I'm not going to do that So you're going to have to deal with it or get lost mm -hmm. Now we got our food <laughs> Never ate this but we'll try it by the way, this foam looking stuff right here is not hot, it's cold. Because I looking at it, you would think it'd be hot. This tastes like a, uh, nothing. It tastes like nothing. <laughs> now, I'm going to try this chicken. I think you're supposed to wrap it all in the thing. Chicken is like... It has a texture of fried, mm, of fried chicken, but it tastes like grilled chicken. It's delicious. Let's say that it's delicious. Now, I'm gonna try these collard greens. You know, black folks food. And they taste just like my mama collard greens from New Orleans. Hands down, I think this is some of the best food I've ate in Nairobi, y'all. Oh. So, I was sitting here telling Kavat something that I've noticed, and I brought this up before, but you know, the Americans in the comments think I'm always wrong about something, but I'm right about this. So, they have this thing here in East Africa, well, Kenya and, uh, not, uh, Kenya and Tanzania for sure. This little green and white on the wall right there. They call that impacing. If you don't have card or cash, you can load money onto a uh, basically like a digital bank account. And you can walk into any business, anybody on the side of the road, everybody has impacing. In, in Senegal, it was called a honch. In Ghana, they had their own thing. In Thailand, they had their own thing. In Brazil, they had pics. In Colombia, they had it. Uh, Vietnam had it. Cambodia had it. The Philippines had it. The United States is the only place that is either card or cash. And I know people are going to be like, oh, they got cash up. You cannot walk into a damn grocery store and pay for your groceries with cash up. You cannot walk into a grocery store and say, oh, I'm going to pay with Apple Pay today. Like, Keep in mind, Apple Pay is basically a digital debit card. That's not the same thing as M-Pesa. And pesa is not a digital debit card. It's an account, like a bank account on your phone where you can send money. Um, that, I, I found that very odd when I noticed that, that every other country has a way where, oh, you don't have card, you don't have a digital card, you don't have cash, you can still pay by phone to my phone number or to this till number. 
there's nothing like that in the United States. Samsung Pay works, from my understanding, works for Samsung phones. Mm -hmm. So that means the owner would have to have the same phone mm -hmm. for you to pay him. That's very the iPhone, yeah, it's not as limited. Versus anybody, you can have a, a Hawaii, what is it, a Hawaii phone? Huawei. Huawei, Huawei. Yeah. Huawei phone, mm -hmm. iPhone, Android. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care if it's a Virgin mobile phone. You can have any phone <laughs> and pay with and paste it because it goes to the phone number. Mm -hmm. So just something I noticed. But I know y'all gonna try to still disagree because people people just disagree in my comments for just for the hell of it. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Like even every restaurant in the countries I've been to at the receipt, it says pay by and pay mm -hmm. or pay by whatever it is so, uh, company that they have in that country. Mm -hmm. In the United States, it says debit card, credit card. That's it. That's very shitty. Yeah. So I brought Kavat to the humidor code so he could try his own cigar by himself. Uh, we're gonna see whatever, what, what should he start up with today. Guess I'll try one of these for myself. Which one do you recommend that he start with? Uh, today I would recommend this one. Honduras, I know you like the Nicaraguan cigars, mm -hmm. but this one is very good. It's a flow the top. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so you cut almost just at the top. Oh, okay. Yes. You can shred. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Austin showed me how to light this up, so I'm just trying on my fast, you know. How to know. You told me whenever it becomes red like. Black, black. Uh, black? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh -huh. So it's probably ready now. Oh, okay, good. And then, and then uh, you put it in your mouth. And puff as you light it and twist it too. Yeah. You twist it so it evenly lights it. Yep. Yeah, that's right. So we'll, we'll, we'll check back with him in like 20 minutes. How, did, how does it taste? It has like a woody flavor mm -hmm. and some chocolate flavor as well. Uh, these are uh, different than the one you gave it to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's also smooth. It's a smooth yeah. like smoke flavor. Yeah, yeah. The, the more, uh, less, the less intense they are. But you only hit them one time. Uh -huh. You only hit them one time. Because if you hit them too many times, they get too too hot. Yeah. It'll take away from the flavor too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you just do one big puff. Yeah. Okay, but this one is. Usually, you know, you did it right whenever both sides are smoking. Mm -hmm. Like, it'll be smoke coming out the mouth on, these two. On these both sides? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It looks like you did it right there. Mm. Thank you. And <laughs> we'll check, these. We'll <laughs> check back with him in like 20 minutes, see how, you, how you, we're going to have him describe how it made him feel. So, as y'all can see, we back in the game. Going insane. Trying to maintain. Jumping on the plane. You on? Mm-hmm. But we gonna ask Kavat when you get back from the bathroom. How does that cigar have him feeling right now? So Kavat, yeah. you are officially a cigar smoker. Yeah. You in the game. Yeah. How does it make you feel? Uh, makes me feel like you know I don't want like the cheap talk. You know, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> it gives you like the bossy feel that you don't want just to have any other type of conversation. Because I can know bigger conversations as well. So it's maturing. Yeah, I'd say so. And then um. Also, like, you feel like, you know, your mind is open to new ideas and to new things. Yeah, and it just gives you a feel, like, you know, that masculine feel that, you know, you yeah. feel good about yourself as a man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, you do need to know that I do not condone tobacco smoking. I do not promote it. I'm just talking about what I do here on a daily basis. So if you enjoyed that vlog, if you enjoyed the mix of me talking my S-H-I-T plus the education about, you know, some things that you saw in the video, give it a like. Subscribe, leave a comment what you would like to see next, and uh, hit the cash up. Tej Hanley does not have to be the only sponsor of today's video. So you can sponsor it as well. And I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Sign up for the members only if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time.